Hi, I'm Rick Lobdell, and I'm doing a new article for Concrete Decor magazine. Typically I use time-lapse photography and I don't get to talk very much, but this time I felt it would be a good idea to try doing a video where you actually get to hear me and let me talk about what I'm doing. For this article, I'm using sponge rollers and solid color sealers for a pool decks and patios that I do all the time. And I'm going to show you some technique real quick that I use to utilize basic colors, solid colored sealers, and a sponge roller in making awesome floors. Uh, easy and effective and not very expensive. Um, I do, I've been doing these kind of floors for probably since I started, so 15 years now. Uh, mostly pool decks. I use light colors like you see here as my base colors most of the time. Every once in a while I use a darker color like this one. Most of the time I keep it light and that keeps the heat down on them also. All these products I'm showing you today are from H&C. You can get it any Sherwin-Williams. It's their color top series <clears throat> and they're great. They come in solvent based and water based and you can use about any color of the rainbow. Typically I use these three colors. The color over on the far left is Bombay. The center color is sandstone, <clears throat> and the darker brown color is charred walnut. They look great with any house. And what I'm, my focus today is to talk to you about how ground color affects everything we do. I've talked about it in one of my recent articles, about how important it is to understand that foundation color, whether it is the gray concrete, whether it's a white overlay, whether you're going to add color to the overlay. I'm going to utilize a solid colored sealer to show you the exact same thing and how color interacts with each other. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a sponge roller of each of these colors and I'm going to put them on the other two colors. And what you're going to see is I'm going to use the same three colors on all three of them when it's done and they're going to look completely different. But yet it's the same three colors and it shows you how, how important that initial ground color is and how it affects everything we do. So let's check this out. So first, I'm going to start with sandstone on top of the charred one, or I mean on top of the uh, Bombay, and I'm going to put it on top of the charred one. I'll do both of them at the same time. You don't need very much color on these. It doesn't take much at all. And you can just lightly sponge. Now imagine this is a big pool deck. I know you can barely see me, but I want you to see this instead. And I just lightly sponge as I go. I don't need much on here. And I'm not even a faux painter. So if there are any faux painters watching this, yes, you can make fun of me all you want. I keep it simple, and I just want to get some color down. It doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of times I'm doing design on top of these, and the design will take over and make it look even better. So you can see the difference in the same color on top of that light color compared to the same color on top of the dark color. Look how bold it gets when you put it on top of here. Keeping it nice and light, I'm barely touching the ground with this thing at all. I'm letting it make its own marks, letting the roller do its job. Okay, now I'm going to take the charred walnut over top of the lightest one and the medium one. And the difference with these are when I do a third color, which I'll end up doing on this one, I'm going to test it on this first. When I do a third color, I do a very much, a very light amount of it. So since this is the second color, and you can see how different this sponge rolls, every sponge you buy is going to be completely different. They're not very predictable. You kind of just have to utilize each one of them. In fact, the person marking the, using the sponge roller marks differently too. I've had sponge, pull decks where I've had two people sponge at the same time with two different sponges and they don't look the same in any way, shape, or form. Now when I go for a third color, I try to be really light about it. I don't want much color, which I'm having trouble doing because this roller doesn't want to work with me happens too, there we go. I just want a light amount just to give it a little bit extra flare. Just like that. 
Now, let's see what happens when we add the light color to each of these. Start with this middle one and utilize just a little bit of light color on it. I'm just randomly rolling it. I'm not rolling really long strokes. I'm not really utilizing the entire sponge to its ability. I'm just using fine little details of it just to get some mark making, just like that. It looks great. the better. Of course that's hard, harder to do than it is to say. But the great thing about it is if I don't like one of these I can go back with the original base color and I can fine-tune them and make some of the color disappear. So like for example if I didn't like this little spot right here when it's dry I can take the darker color and re-sponge right through it and make it look like I barely sponged it at all. So this is just a quick technique, simple and straightforward like that, that I do all the time. It's very effective, very easy to do, and it's an easy way to make money for pool decks and patios without using overlay. Doesn't matter how old the concrete is, doesn't matter the condition of the concrete. It's a solid colored sealer, it's gonna hide the ugliness of the concrete. The sponge is gonna hide some of the cracks, it's gonna hide some of the imperfections, and you're barely gonna see them because of all the sponging. Now add design to that, and you've got one heck of a beautiful pool deck. And with that, I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank Concrete Decor for letting me write all these articles. I enjoy writing. I have a blast telling people how I do things. I like bringing out all this information and letting you see the world I've created over the years. So thank you very much, Concrete Decor, for letting me write these articles. Feel free to email me at rick at concretemystique.com and let me know anything else you wanna learn from me. I've written a lot of articles over the last two years, and I'm getting to a point where I need new ideas. So don't hesitate to email me at rick at concretemystique.com, and let's see what I can get out there for your information. Have a great day, and keep that decorative concrete going. Thank you.